Hi guys, it's Candy Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday the 3rd of July and it's my birthday. I've been awake for about two and a half, nearly three hours getting ready. I should have left the house about half an hour ago so I'm super late. I'm going to open up my presents now but you guys are not going to see that in this video because I'm going to do a part two birthday vlog um, stroke what I got for my birthday video. So just subscribe now, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when that video is up. But in today's vlog, um, I'm going to take you with me to Walton Street. Then I'm going to take you along with me to Harrods. And we're going to have some lunch in Harry's. Then probably do some more shopping. I'm going to come back, pick up my birthday cake. And later on, I'm going to have a late night dinner in Scott's in Mayfair. So lots of things to do today. I hope it's going to be a super fun, exciting vlog and you guys enjoy it. So yes, I'll see you guys when I get to Walton Street. Hi guys, so I've just reached um, Harrods. I can't go inside because I'm so late. I ended up leaving my house two and a half hours later than I was supposed to. Um, ideally, I wanted to go to Harrods and Walton Street before lunch, but now my lunch reservation is literally in 10 minutes. So I've got to go to Harry's to have lunch there and then go into Harrods and get the giveaway winner's prize, which is a notebook and it's on reserve for me in Harrods. So I'm going to go there afterwards and hopefully go to Walton Street to go and look at a bag in Chanel that I want to see. Um, again, ideally I wanted to go to Walton Street first when they open, but um, <laughs> I'm going to go there late so the bag might be gone. My SA checked yesterday and they had two available. But um, yeah, we'll see what, what happens and I'll see you guys in Harry's. Okay guys, so we've made it to Harry's. Um, we're just gonna go inside. I've got out, no, I've got inside seating actually for lunch, not outside, but it's so beautiful out here with all of the flowers and stuff. But we're gonna be having lunch. We've been seated, got a few little um, snacks there to eat. And we're gonna have a look at the menu even though I already know what I'm gonna have. So guys, the food has arrived. My friend's got a nice tuna salad, some broccoli. I've got their um, signature pasta dish. I can't remember what it's called. Truffle pasta, basically. And a courgette flour kind of salad with pine nuts and honey. So it all looks very, very yummy. Thank you. So I've got the signature Harry's toadstool for dessert and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Guys, they just brought this to the table as well for my birthday. Look, it says happy birthday. Guys, I'm just in the toilets of Harry's Dolce Vita. Uh, do a quick outfit of the day before I forget. I'm wearing my Chanel earrings. I've got this black and white dress on and I've got my Chanel uh, sandals. So guys, we're just in Harrods now. We're gonna go through to Louis Vuitton to hopefully get the notebook that is reserved for me for the winner of the giveaway. And I really hope there isn't a long queue. I hope I don't have to queue just to get my reservation because I don't need to browse, but we'll see. So guys, we're in Louis Vuitton. They said 15, 20 minute wait, but it's looking a little bit quicker than that and I'm gonna pick up the lucky winner's prize which was the notebook and it's on hold for me so I know it's definitely here so yeah we're just waiting um, in line basically guys here's the reservation lucky winner who's won this so I'm gonna buy this now for her and send it off to her um, this is like the last one I think in London there was one showing in Westfields but yeah Luckily, I got my hands on this for her. Okay, guys, I'm just in the shop now to um, pick up my cake. I'm super late. You guys wouldn't believe what happened today. Um, I'll explain in a minute. So, guys, this is my cake that I'm just picking up now. Looks beautiful. Um, I'm just going to go home now quickly and I'll explain to you what happened in Harrods today. Hi guys, so let me tell you the disaster that happened today. As you know, I was late, so I went straight to lunch. The original plan was for me to go to um, Chanel on Walton Street first and then go to lunch. So after I finished with lunch, I thought, let me just go to Harrods, because it's literally across the street from Harrods, um, to get the notebook for the giveaway winner. Big mistake, I should have just gone to Chanel on Walton Street and then gone back to Harrods. 
Anyway, I went to Louis Vuitton, a disaster happened which led me to being on the phone for an hour and a half. That led my battery to die. Before my battery died, I had to call the cake shop to let them know that I was going to be late. I wouldn't be there at the scheduled pickup time and I'd be there much later. Anyway, phone was dying. All the way to Walton Street, um, went to Walton Street. I got into the store literally like 10 minutes before they closed. Now my SA in Harrods had been checking the stock of this particular bag from last week until last night they had two went there and the SA in Walton Street said that they had the same two from when the collection launched a couple of weeks ago and nobody was buying them and about 15 minutes before I arrived they sold both of those bags so I was so upset so at this point no bag no phone battery phone was dead um I went back to Harrods to finally get the notebook when I arrived at Harris, I realised I'd lost my cardigan. So I walked all the way back to Walton Street to see if I could find it on the floor. It wasn't there. Walked back to Harrods, got the notebook finally. So that's a plus. I've got the notebook for the giveaway winner. Obviously, at this point, my phone's dead and everything. I did want to go to Hermes and do a little bit more shopping and more vlogging for the day. But, you know, I couldn't because my phone was dead. I was running late. Time had got on. So I just decided to go home, charge my phone a little bit, go and pick up my cake, which you've seen I've just picked up. And now I'm going to go back home and get ready for dinner at Scott's later on tonight. So hopefully nothing else goes wrong between now and um, Scott's later. I know they've got some delicious food, so I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And yeah, I'm just going to extend this vlog um, until Monday and I go back to Harrods and go to Hermes and do... Um, some other things that I didn't get to do today but yeah today totally has not gone to plan but yeah I'll see you guys soon at Scott's hi guys so I'm in the uber on my way to Scott's so I'll be there in about 20 minutes or so guys we've arrived outside Scott's with their beautiful flowers and the butler guy that greets you at the door so yeah, let's go in. So guys, I'm here at Scott's for a late night dinner. They've got a nice bar area over there where they've got like the lobster and seafood on ice. Um, hopefully I'll get a closer look later. Look guys, you can have a closer look at the bar and the shellfish on display on the ice bar very pretty so guys this is outfit of the day number two i've got my chanel earrings on from early one today this giuseppe de morabito top high-waisted white trousers and these see-through shoes So guys, this is my starter, which is griddled prawns, and they look absolutely delicious. Guys, look at this yummy mane. I've got a fillet of cod with some aioli, broccoli, some cream spinach, and potatoes. And here is dessert, guys. I got peach melba very beautiful and this is it with the sauce just poured over it so guys this is going to be day two of my birthday vlog that flopped yesterday as you saw so we're in Harrods I'm going to take you to the Harrods food hall because I know a lot of you guys don't come from London have never been to Harrods but they've actually got an amazing food hall downstairs with lots of lovely food confectionery sweets, chocolates, bakery, patisserie stuff. So I'm going to show you all of that yummy food and hopefully I'm going to get to try on some sandals in Hermes. And I also want a new cap because I actually wear caps a lot of the time. So I'm hoping to get maybe a Gucci cap depending on what colours they have. Um, but we'll see. So yeah. So here we are guys. The food hall starts off with the chocolate hall. And as you can see, it's just filled with delicious chocolates. They have these Harrods chocolate covered almond nuts. Um, they should be here. 
when I tell you guys these are absolutely amazing yeah so they're these but the almond version where's the almond ones okay well the almond ones are going to be somewhere around here but they are absolutely delicious um, I'm tempted to buy them but the thing is guys I've been eating way too much so I don't think it's a good idea but let me just show you guys around anyway absolutely gorgeous food in here These are my favourite dates guys. I first tried these, these are um, Batil dates. Um, I first tried these in Dubai and oh my goodness, they are amazing. These are my favourite ones, the caramelised macadamia. And every time it's my birthday, I would come to Harrods and get these. I didn't get them this year though, and I'm not going to because I need to be really strict on my meeting. But guys, if you have not tried Batil dates, get you some Batil dates. Um, they used to be £49 for a kilo and then I came back one day and they were £75 per kilo I was like no way um, yeah the next time I go to Dubai I'm just gonna buy loads of them but yeah they have loads of stuff in Batil they're absolutely gorgeous look guys chocolate covered strawberry stands I don't understand where the almond ones are. Like, I'm really confused. They have literally every flavor, but not the almond ones. Um, hmm. Okay, guys, now we're in the fresh um, market hall where they have all of the cooked food, the fresh food. You see lovely cheeses. Again, I'm not trying any food at all today. I'm actually fasting. <laughs> but yeah, this is Harrods Food Hall, guys. It's such a pretty, um, pretty part of Harrods, I think, that not many people get to see. Um, but yeah, you can come here and have lunch. They've got places where you can eat. We've got a salad bar, meat over there fishmonger we've got juices and smoothies sorry guys I'm just giving you like the full tour because I, I just I was mindful that I've never actually shown you guys this we always just interested in Chanel and Louis Vuitton and Fendi <laughs> but not actually this part of Harrods um, and here we're gonna go into like the bakery section so lots of fresh baked bread and um, yeah, absolutely stunning. I love coming down here. The smell is amazing. And then we've got the patisserie. Oh, these look so nice guys. Like I'm so tempted. And they've got a clover over there I love. Oh my gosh. Lots of loose tea. I don't drink tea or coffee, by the way, guys. I've never had a cup of coffee in my life. Um, here's the patisserie section. These cakes look amazing. This one, gorgeous. How gorgeous do these cakes look? Absolutely stunning. Got some pies. little cupcakes, cheesecakes, eclairs, lots of little mini patisserie sets. Oh, these look gorgeous. This is my favorite, guys. So pretty. 
and creme brulee is another one of my favorites because I love custardy type stuff. So yeah guys, this is the Harrods food hall, it's huge. Um, giving you a quick tour. Um, if you lack food as much as I do, you would have loved looking at all of this. <laughs> And then through here is what I was talking about. It's the um, it's the dining hall through here. So this is where you can um, actually sit down and have something to eat in the restaurant, but we're not gonna go in there. Guys, this is the famous macarons. If you like, I actually don't like these, but loads of people buy them. Guys, I've just passed this bonbon stall um, in Harrods all made in store by Harrods. Look at these bonbons. And she said they're made in store by the chefs here and you can watch them making the bonbons. I love this stuff guys. Another passion of mine is like baking and cooking so I love all of this. Here we are guys, shoe heaven at Harrods. Let's see what shoes. I can try on. It's so empty up here. So we've got Chanel. I'm not interested in trying any shoes on in Chanel. We've got Louis Vuitton. So guys, I'm going to attempt to try on these Maca Mac um, shoes. Um, I'm <laughs> not hopeful they're going to fit because of my foot, but we will try. So guys, let's just do a quick out of fit of the day before I forget. I've got my Louis Vuitton Louise earrings on this red kind of burnt orange blazer from Zara that you saw in my last um, shopping haul unboxing try on video. I've got my Chanel brooch on, these leather look leggings and my Chanel sandals. So guys, I tried these on and my foot, these are size five, so the length is not the problem, it's the width. So my foot doesn't go all the way in, they're so pretty, but disappointment as always. So guys, I've got these on. They're a bit better in terms of the width, but um, I still think like, you know, the broadness of my foot is an issue. A big issue you can see the marks on my feet from my sandals but um yeah I'm not sure about these Mac and Mac the size for my broad foot I'm gonna try the Perispex ones on in a second so guys I'm in Chanel and look what look look what's back these boots that everyone went crazy for. I remember I tried them on, I wasn't sure about it, and then they all sold out. So guys, if you missed out last year, you can buy them again this year, but apparently they're selling out super fast again. Guys, let's see if I have better luck with Hermes and their sandals, but I'm doubtful. Let's see you guys. Okay, so she's gonna get a few of the um, sandals in different colors in my sizes. Let's see if they fit. But look at this cute little makeup stand they have with the lipsticks out. This is so cute. So guys, this is the size six EU39 and I am very happy because they actually go on my foot. I was expecting a disaster. Guys, these are the glitter ones. Guys, this is the kind of grey, goldy mix glitter. Um, I really like this colour too. This is five and a half, so it's much more tighter than the six in terms of the width. So guys, I have these Jimmy Choo shoes in my 
basket in my Teresa, I believe, but not this colour, the cream colour. I had to go a size up for the width. This is what they look like. They are so stunning. What do you guys think? Should I get these? I think they're about 900 and something or a thousand. I just don't know if my foot looks too wide or too squashed in them. Yeah guys, so same with these. It's just too tight around my foot, the width of my foot. So Let's go in the wear there quickly. I'm not really looking for anything, but sorry, those shoes, the Jimmy Choo ones with the crystals all over it. Um, no, not £1,000. They're £1,600, but Harrods currently have 10% um, off, so they're actually 1695 and then you get the 10% off. Yeah, and she said there's literally one, one in their whole warehouse of my size in the beige one that I want, so how annoying. Just like Hermes have one of the sizes of each of the colours that I want. But what do you guys think about this Loewe bag? I think it's quite cute. The shape is very different. So guys, I've seen these bucket hats on mine. I believe I've seen it in tan, but this is a black one. What do you think about the black Loewe bucket hat? I'm not sure that they suit me, to be fair. You've got to your mask as well. Guys, I'm just in menswear to see if they have any of the caps. So I've been told to go to men's where they'll have more of a selection. Look at this Tom Ford suede tan jacket. So nice. Like I love men's clothing. I think men's clothing, like in all of like the luxury brands and the collections, they always have the best clothing and shoes and trainers. Guys, this is a rare opportunity to show you what they have in men's because we never look at men's, but here's the men's stuff. Cute little bag. I'm waiting for them to bring me out the caps. Um, yeah. I've never been like a, a Gucci fan. It's just like too much for me. That's always going on with Gucci. <laughs> so yeah, it's not my kind of thing. But um, I would, the cap, I know it's a lot going on because I like the green, the green not so basically I wanted the cap in this colour, but they only do the green multicolour of this. Um so quite bold, but blue is my favourite colour. But that's as far as I'd go is to get a cap. Um a Gucci cap, but not really like clothing because it's a little bit too too OTT for my liking. Like I like the multicolour but on other people, not on myself. So guys, they don't have the green multicolour cap. They don't, the Lame one is actually downstairs, despite me coming upstairs, as I was told, more would be up here. And this is the black. Like, it's kind of like a leather look on the peak and the front and mesh. I don't think I like it. It's a little bit too stiff. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I like this. Okay, so guys, the Lame light blue Gucci hat cap was not on the first floor. It's in their stock room, so it's going to take about 10 minutes to request it. I don't have time. i literally got to go back now. Um, it might be on display downstairs in the ground floor accessory department, but we'll see on the way out if it is. Um, but I probably wouldn't have time to stop anyway, so I'll just look at it next time. But thank you guys for coming with me on day two of my birthday vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!